Hello, I'm MC2 and the worst rapper in the world. How are you doing today? Uh, here we are today to take apart and examine a Lemurian plug to see if it is legit or if it is snake oil. And I have with me my friend Lee from the UK. How are you doing, Lee? Pretty good, thanks. I'm really excited. This has been, uh, it's, I've been waiting for this for quite some time now. And I, I'm excited to see what's inside this incredible device. Um, so yeah, I'm Lee, I'm in London, uh, and I am a bit of a geek. I have my lab here behind me uh, with all my geeky toys in, and I just love taking a bit, things like this, to see if it's real. Of course it's real. I'm open-minded. Of course. We will. We will be open-minded, won't we? So, um... <clears throat> We have, uh, let's see, I'm going to get, really? uh, there it is. So there is there is a, a lot of very fun stuff with this particular um, thing. So the, the Lemurian plug I found, somebody had sent me, I think, uh, one of these things uh, that's supposed to protect you from 5G and other things like 5G and harmful whatever. Um, so uh, I'm interested in it. So I sent a message on Facebook. I found them and uh, sent a message to the uh, sellers of it say asking hey would you like a uh, would you be interested in having a uh, a breakdown of it done by uh, by me and um they said no um i don't know i mean why would you not want to have glowing reviews from somebody that knows things about you know some technology nice. that you're trying to sell uh, so they said, no, that's fine, you know, because this was just a $39 product. So I ordered one a couple months ago and it's been sitting in my desk here for a while. So I, you know, I thought, you know, it's time. So I, uh, arranged with Lee to, uh, to have a look at it tonight. And, um, so that's what, uh, what's going on now. I did also invite the the sellers of it. Other names are Jim and Janet to join the live stream. They did not. Um, and, uh, but what I'll do is I'll show you the email response that they sent here. They, it was a, it was a polite response though. It was kind of funny, um, because, well, I thought it was funny. Um, you, you may be showing some skepticism, skepticism as we both did when we first were introduced to the founder of this product, the late Jeffrey Radford. You can see from the video we have on our website under press tab, we have included a homemade video from Open Your Mind Radio from Ireland that opened the Lemurian plug and shows what's inside, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, an important pr property of this phenomenon we call the Mel Lemurian frequency, Radford found, is that it's attracted to live flowing electric current. How did they measure this or quantify this? Who knows? That allows all your cellular devices to adopt the Lemurian frequency, as well as spreading the frequency throughout your home via the electrical system. Um, so anyway, this uh, this particular response, very polite, will be um, on my website, mc2.net slash Lemurian plug, no spaces. It will also be linked off of my page. It's not quite yet my uh, mc2.net slash 5g and then I have a I think I have a snake oil section if I don't I'll be creating one and this will be in it I mean oops it might not be snake oil so <clears throat> uh, I will give you right here uh, the lemurianplug.com is their website I'll pop that in the chat here for everybody if you want to have a look and they also have an older one uh, I don't know why they switched but it was on Wix it's a uh, lemurianplug.wixsite.com both are in the chat right now so <clears throat> let's look at their website they have um they have a their new website this this is pretty nice here's a picture of the plug um it uh, it's a 5g natural uh 5g defense it neutralizes toxins it protects yourself from emf you can enjoy restorative frequencies for healing it will preserve food transfer energy to phones and, and appliances run more energy efficiently look at that that little thing not much bigger than a pen what do you think lee is this uh sounding pretty legit so far it sounds really good uh, i love the, the way it preserves food a lot like kind of like a refrigerator i guess it, you know it, yeah it'll save it'll save energy because you won't even need your fridge anymore i suppose <clears throat> so let's see now 
this is interesting here. I'm going to come back to this later here. These, these uh, testimonials, if you will. I'll just leave that right here. As we switch over here to the story um, from Jeffrey Radford, who is, is now passed away a couple years ago. But um, <clears throat> here he gives a story. This is on the Wix site one, but it's the same on, on both. He says, the first thing out of her mouth, this is some Lemurian that he met, are, I am from Lemuria, and I, am a, and I was a healer in Atlantis years ago. Now the business of the meeting, he was at some meeting, was all about crystals. <laughs> to cut a long story short, Kathleen was here to fix man-made projects all over the world by a certain frequency. How do you do that? That, that like sounds what? amazing, doesn't it? What kind of projects do you think? What's that? What kind of projects was she going to fix? I like, uh, I, don't know, I guess, like, like satellites or televisions? Uh, bridges. Very small rocks. Mm. Churches. Uh, and what is Lemuria? So, yeah, that's a good thing. I didn't know what that was. Um, I, I had to look it up. It's it's like Atlantis. It is uh, a, a mythical, non-existent, never existed island where people lived, apparently claimed to have lived. And um, <clears throat> in some accounts, the people were 15 feet tall and had four arms. So apparently Kathleen... Forewarned. And, and they were androgynous too. So Kathleen's a, a man woman, um, I guess. So anyway, they did find, they, they say it was between uh, like uh, Madagascar and India. And, uh, and so they, they did find uh, a tectonic plate there that they called something, they didn't call it Lemuria, that, they, that um, uh, geologists said may have been above water 54 million years ago. So that makes, uh, if it's true, that makes Kathleen pretty old. So, so she, how did Kathleen get from, from there to here? I don't know, but she was also in Atlantis. And um, I don't know. So maybe she was, um, I don't know, in both. She flew or something. Uh, I don't know, but she must have aged well. So, all right. So let's see. Let's go to, um, Got we got some, this story is crazy if, if you want to do it. There's a particular device that I re received from Kathleen. The one from Lemuria. How to build this device and its crystalline device. It's got a number of different colors on it. <laughs> We've seen it. It's a plate. And that particular plate is what powers all of these plugs. Once the plugs are in contact with this plate, they are completely powered from there on. This device is Atlantean Lemurian ancient. And that's what's needed here. So the plugs that he's selling are the ones that will actually transmit the energies. If everyone had a plug across the planet, it would transmit the energy across the entire planet. The cell phones would also transmit the energies so you could marry two cell phones together. Oh my goodness. How does it work? What do you think, Lee? How does it work? I, I um, if I were to speculate, <laughs> I would say it possibly doesn't. You may be onto something. Um, <laughs> the plug is charged with an ancient technology that was given to me. I mean, he's kind of he's kind of going over this stuff again. So let's see here. The Q and A. This could be hard to believe. Yes, uh, it is. Um, so we got the Q and A here. Can EMF reduction from the plug be measured by a meter? The best answer is uh, I want to save you some disappointment if I can. I believe that if you buy an e expensive EM meter to see what the Lemurian plug is blocking uh, from a smart meter and device, you will find out it does not do so. And for that, I don't doubt at all. I don't actually know how the plug does what it does, but I know that it isn't blocking any EM fields. Do you believe that? I do. He goes on to say that um, what it does is somehow change the frequency of the EM radiations so they are no longer harmful to our bodies. So that means you could measure it you if could. it's changing the frequencies. Also, if it changed it, it won't work. 
We, uh, yeah, your phone would no longer work. Because they kind of rely on it. it. It is. So now, this guy... <laughs> This guy says he, he was using a Tachyon Home Electro Smog Protection. I'm not going to get into that today. That's a whole different thing for a different video. Um, but yes, a Tachyon Home... Oh, I looked it up. New level of crazy there. So let's see. The the um, FAQ, uh, which isn't really an FAQ. It's Their website's a little rough. Um, the plug frequency neutralizes toxicity. I can't explain it any simpler than that. I leave you to your own imagination. So that is a quote from from the founder. So you have to use your imagination. Listen, listen. We need to be open minded here uh, and wait to look inside, because it might just be that there's something pretty amazing inside there. True. True. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, now you're in the UK, and this this plugs into a 110 uh, or 120 outlet. Um, but don't worry. Um, oh, the, they have a UK version. They don't. Uh, what they do? Oh. Um, a, a transformer. The transformer you have. No, the, no, not yes. even easier than that. Um, they have a piece of Velcro, and you just Velcro it near your outlet. Yes, it takes. <laughs> Uh, in 220 like volt countries, <laughs> yep, just like that. In 220 volt countries, affix the plug to a live outlet using the included Velcro. In North America, just plug it in. Uh, the light and outlet on the plug are inactive. Are they? It has a superior design. Um, you know, you know that it does because it says that on their website. It is powered it again with the ancient technology. Um, this technology. Is, uh, it was lost for centuries, but it's been found and incorporated into the plug. I, I know I don't know why it's only available in the plug and not elsewhere. But uh. mm. so, so, so that means they had this old tech, and they somehow built this old tech into the plug. Yeah. So when you open it up, you should see this old tech in this plug. We should somehow, I guess. I don't know. So I have uh, right here. I will show you. My setup here, I have, um, now this is upside down to me uh, on my desk here. This is the package that came. It is unopened. You can see here, I have not opened it. I covered up with duct tape my, my address so I don't dock myself and some of the other um, US Postal Service things. So there it is, unopened, unmanipulated, ready. Now this is my wife's scissors. Don't let her know. Um, I don't think it's made for cutting packages. Um, I do believe it's for knitting and crocheting and sewing, but uh, sh she's uh, she's she's busy right now. So there we go. Mm -mm. That's good. Oh, it 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 it, it should come it, some it smells plasticky. I mean lemuriny or something like that. Now I don't have any. There is no included. Well, maybe it's because I'm not in the UK, but there's no um, there's no Velcro here. So there's instructions now. Fortunately, on their website, they have a PDF version of this. So thank you for your order, your purchase of the Lemurian plug. There it is. But here is here is the plug. I'll set that aside. Right there. There you go. Look how nice that is. Right there. Kind of small. It is well. There's ancient technology in it, though. So, is that is that like a socket on the top? Yeah. So this this plugs into the outlet in the wall, and then on the bottom is another one that they said is disconnected, which we shall see, huh? So now it has fortunately Phillips. It's not tamper proof, so I will be able to get into That's it good. pretty easy. So maybe they just got those those cases. And they've put their tech inside the case, and certainly, just yeah, yeah. So yeah, there. So safety case said smell test. I did. It does not. Uh, it does not smell anything different so far. But uh, you know, maybe once we get but inside, it doesn't have that that kind of new smell. It does have a new smell, <laughs> new plastic. And there's not. I typically in the UK when we have these things, we have um, 
like these sort of safety stickers on that tell you that the um, all the stuff but, you know, it's like double insulated and uh, um, recyclable and all, all that kind of stuff. Do you have any of that on, on uh, there? There is on the back here, embedded in the plastic, so it's really difficult to read and it won't show up on on uh, on the video. Probably the come on, there it is. And the important right. thing here is we, we have the CE mark, which tells you it is past the uh, uh, the CE testing regime that it's not going to break your TV or burn your house down. Uh, so that's pretty important here, that that's the mark. It's a little testing. too bright there, but yeah, we've got Underwriter Labs, we've got FCC. Uh, why would the FCC need to have something on a on this device? Well, we will find out later. So here we go. Opening it up. There it is. Okay, this is good. <clears throat> What is this? Now, this this looks just like Ooh, the one. It's pretty busy. It is. It looks just like the one that is from uh, that what they they mentioned on their website, and it even has this little thing right here, which uh, I think I know what it is. It's like a little antenna. It does look like a little antenna. So we've got here. You think that's a relay? The big black one, yes. Yeah, that it's certainly looks like a relay. We've got. It probably has a rating on it. Is. I, yeah, we, it does probably. It is uh, again. It's hard to read. Um, and I'll turn the light on, but it'll blast out everybody. Sure. Yeah, I'll get pictures and put it on my website, maybe of of these. But you know, it's just a relay, and definitely that's a um, that's an antenna. There's coils in here. It's 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 like a little spring. Um, so then we've got this capacitor. I hope it's not 450 volts, because, wow, that'd, oh. that'd blow things up, wouldn't it? Um, uh, no, it wouldn't. And so, yeah, these are thick wires that are go to the bottom here, which are which look like they're probably 14-gauge wires. But that black socket was disconnected, yeah? They said it's disconnected, but it appears connected. Um you can tell it's connected because the wires are still there. And then we've got right here, this is an, uh, looks like looks like an LED. So this looks like um, nothing all that special. Yeah, I'm gonna start sketching this down. This is getting interesting now because yeah. it's got like a relay in and a uh, little antenna. Two capacitors uh, and then this this guy here, this uh, it looks kind of reddish one. Kind of similar to some, some things I have here. <laughs> <laughs> I've, which is slightly curious yeah and so i've got uh, a little daughter board off the side here and then down inside here if you can see let's see i'll get that down down right in here is a little uh, uh dips dips uh whatever little chip right yeah dual inline package there so and again i can't i i can get pictures i don't think it's going to matter so there it is. Not a whole lot to it. I don't see any Lemurian technology in there or anything. Oh, it's, it's kind of cute. Oh, can you turn it over? What's on the back? It's just a circuit board there. You've got, yeah, like the, uh, you know, the ground, the two leads there. Um, and the, the, the one lead Looks like it's connected. Yep, that's connected over here to this side, which is then soldered into this outlet. And this one is connected to the ground. And we've got one more here. Yeah, that's connected through oh, a... It goes, goes through that relay. Yep, it goes through the relay uh, right there. Yeah, just, we've got the switch. The black, the black one here goes through to the relay, and then it's connected on the other side with this thick trace here. So there it is. It's a relay in between. That's nice. Wonder what like a switch. What yeah, whatever might might it do. So <clears throat> well, that's it for the inside. I'll take it apart later if people want to see pictures, but uh, I'm going to reassemble it because I'm going to plug it in. And I'd rather not just have those bare Ooh. wires sticking out while I'm plugging it in though. Uh yeah, but, Oh. That is that is kind of fun. Um <laughs> the the sticker the sticker comes off a bit easily here. Let's see if I can get a little, uh, get underneath it here somehow. Like when I was, when I was 
putting it back together, part of it, the sticker came off. So, hmm. no, that's not working. Is that sticker covering something up? It is covering something up. I think it's covering up where the, there it is, where the okay. LED light shines through. So I'm going to move it down here so that we can see the LED uh, there's a light. lit up there. How's that look? Very nice now. So, all right, I'm just going to put in two screws diagonal so that uh, they hold together. Just to save yourself from uh, a surprise. I don't want to. Yes, this is not electro boom. I will not be shocking myself, hopefully. I do have some safety gear here, and I'll show you quick what I have. All right, so let me set that down. I'll show you my... Well, I hope you Big rubber gloves and rubber boots? Uh, no, not not as much. Not as such. Um, so let me show you here. I have a uh, overload protection device. This here it looks like a, 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 a big... Um, right, we got a light bulb. But what this is, is this is an on-off switch that turns on and off the power, which goes off here, right? I built this a couple years ago. Um, and then what, what happens is one side of, of this goes through through the light bulb and then to the outlet and then the, uh, the rest of it's wired normally. You can see I have some, this one's got tape on it, meaning that it is hot. Both of these are hot. It's not, it's not ground. Yeah. yeah. Right. So what, what so that does is handy. It, it, if, if something were to be shorted, right? So if I had, if I plugged this in, which, which I have done, right? With these uh, these bare ends, that if I plugged this in and touched those bare ends together, it would not spark. It would light up the light bulb. It's for safety, right? So <clears throat> I have that plugged into that. I have a just a this guy here, All right? So that people can see it, and then and then I have a switch right on it. So. On the um, on the box now I'm gonna switch back to the upper camera so you can see right there there it is and we've got off we've got on and here it goes plugged it in do I feel anything now in case it talks about opening chakras um, so as a preparation for that just in case opening chakras or in case my third eye were to open I ate a, um, I took a whole bunch of fiber last night and I've uh, evacuated everything that might happen should my third eye open. So I'm not sure it wants to touch my third eye. I, yep. So always be safe. Safety first, right? Um, or safety third, really. So <clears throat> if you're a fan of uh, so, so dirty I, jobs. Nothing's happened yet. Nothing at all. I don't. Did something happen? I don't feel anything. Um, they say it has range on the website. I mean, it's like, is it sort of five, five meters or five 500 meters? feet of in your house. So. 500 feet. Right now it is, um, oh, you know what? I didn't turn it on yet. Hold on. There, it's on. Didn't help. What it does say, you don't need to turn it on because you can you can Velcro it, apparently. True. It doesn't matter. So, so um, it should be fine. I don't smell any burning. And also, um, none of the smoke uh, that has come out, um, which, of course, if, if the smoke comes out, you can't get it back in. So... So, I mean, if it just works, then I guess that the mailman would have had some effect. I'd probably, the yeah. Or the UPS guy. Should have. And they must have a warehouse full of those. They must feel amazing. They must. So, mm. now they say what you do is you place it on your phone, right? You don't even need it plugged in. You just put your phone on it for like 10 minutes or something like that. And... And uh, it, it powers your phone as long as you don't disconnect the battery to your phone. So you can you can bet I'm going to be doing that later. So yeah, have we we have re so in this in the super chat we have reached a conclusion. It's a remote control plug socket. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, does appear to be that. So they spoiled it. Oh my goodness. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to show you what I have here. Um, I have this. Uh, this to do, go to this. This is an extension cord, and this extension cord goes behind me. You may notice right behind me some Christmas lights. Um, so there they are. They're on, off, on. So this 
goes to Christmas lights. This is my remote controlled switch, which I'm going to plug in right now. Now I'll, I'll switch to the camera, the overhead, so you can watch it go in right now all by yourself. Are you going to take that to bits as well? I will not be taking this one to bits because this one doesn't claim to be anything other than a remote control switch. Mm -hmm. Now you can see this, the LED is blinking here. Right now, once it's done blinking, <clears throat> this uh, on off switch here can be used to turn it on and off. So watch, press the, now look, look um, right up, right behind me, you'll see the lights go, go on and off. There it is, lights on, LED on, press the off button. There you go, on and off. And you can now, hear it click, can't you? You can hear, the, hear yeah. the relay clicking inside, yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's the same thing. Um, so now what I'm going to do here, here's the deal. This runs at 310 or 315 megahertz. I looked it up. In fact, I pulled the FCC specification for this um, from the FCC. It's an FCC part 15, right? Part. It's been certified. So now this one here, I suspect is also 315 That's megahertz insane. it's it's not much of a suspect <clears throat> I, I i here's here's the little spoiler i looked it up i know what it is um <clears throat> so there it is it's plugged in i'm gonna uh, put this in here now they say it's disconnected i don't know if it's disconnected or not the lights are not on yet here's the deal i don't know if it's gonna work this would be super awesome if it did if i could use my my remote for my other one to turn this guy on and off. So what do you think, Lee? Is it going to work? What's the chances? It's kind of 50-50, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be awesome. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. That sucks. You need to write those guys and ask them for the remote control, because clearly they missed it out of the package. Yeah. That... So I th yeah, what, what they did is they, they bought... They bought this thing, and then they, for uh, not the price that they sent it to, to me for, and then threw away the remote, probably. <laughs> so a uh, Swedish Vape UK says, I have like three of those plugs connected. I've lost the remote. Well, this one won't do it. So I bet they come in three packs. So from, they, from some cheap online retailer. Like uh, named after a forest in Brazil. Possibly, yes. Possibly. All right, let me, let Possibly. me, uh, so yes. Um, well, that's sad that it didn't work. I was hoping that that would, yeah. I wanted to test it, but I, then I would have had to open it up. So yeah, this is, this is, and here's how we know, um, because, because, you know, it, it's not that difficult to actually just find, you know, things on the internet. So here it is. It's from, it's from woodshomeproducts.com. There well, it looks, is. It looks the same. It is the same. Yes, it even has the same uh, LED on it and uh, the remote. It's there. an indoor wireless remote, one grounded outlet. Um, that says it works up to 100 feet away. Um, so maybe 500 foot is, is a bit. <laughs> so, kind of, uh, you know, hyperbole perhaps. Yep. And uh, if you want, you can buy a three pack from Amazon for um, $13. This, oh no, this is just the one, the single. There is a, there's okay. a. So, so, so yeah, I, I, I missed cost you how much? Uh, this was 40. Plus shipping, yeah. Plus shipping, yeah, which, so I was, I was around 50. So there's my investment into this. $50. Um, so there it is. Um, you can see it's the same. Yeah, I, I have one here as well. So this is, um, this is a UK version. Uh, it's actually this is a Wi-Fi one, but it's kind of the same thing, you know. You got your, your plug here and your socket here, and there's a, a relay, and uh, there's a little power supply inside it. And on on the top side, you have this. This is the uh, the Wi-Fi bit. Um, and it's kind of the same thing, yes. It, it's um, so I'm not sure what it what it does. What, they claim it does all these all these things, but um, where is the um, the Lemurian? I don't know. So, so they say they say that they they use a proprietary technology to 
yeah, to, to power it somehow. Um, but um, I, I didn't see. I saw capacitors, resistors, a, a couple of chips, and, uh, and and they say it works with your phone as long as the battery is connected. As soon as you disconnect the battery, it stops working. Well, this doesn't have a battery in it. How does it work? So based on based on their stuff, they're saying all of these things, and basically, we can't tell you how it works, but it works. Well, that's not all that uh, impressive. There now. Now they did mention how they tested it. Let's see if I can find how they tested it, because because their testing process sounds interesting. Because I like to find out how absolutely amazing. Yes, right at the oh, how we know this stuff works. On the top the of their features page. So their testing methods I'm used to show positive results. Certainly, these will all be click clickable links. German technology known as time waiver. Not clickable. Uh, okay, so Rainx biofeedback technology. Nope, not not clickable. You'd think that they'd have like you know, uh, so you could see that. You got the general EMF one thirty nine four DL triple axis, which is uh, an EMF sensor. I I've seen one of those. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's, a, that's an EMF meter. I've also heard of that biofeedback thing. Uh, that's like you know the um. The, Scientologists have those those e meters. They oh yes, on to. it's like a Wheatstone bridge. Um, I think that is the same thing. Could be. Uh, uh, and we've got Curlean Cur photography. Oh, uh, I saw that on the Omen. That's how they take those those aura photos. Yeah. Oh yeah, it could be. I I read uh, a book by Piers Anthony, a whole series of them called uh, Curlean Quest. But yeah, that was fiction. Um, and then muscle testing, hair samples, and a pendulum. They've used a pendulum. But here, the funny thing, the general EMF 139 4DL triple axis, which I think is the one that uh, reminds me of uh, one by Mark Steele. The one that he uses might just be that very same one. That would be quite funny. Um, but of course, they said you can't actually test it and find that it changes anything. So... They seem to be contradicting themselves, don't they? So curious, very curious. So let's see. Uh, yeah, so they don't have much of that. But now I did mention uh, that that uh, these these uh, testimonials they they put a lot of pressure on looking at their testimonials, right? They're like, never mind the technology. These are not the droids you're looking for. Just look at the testimonials. Like, oh, so anecdotal stuff from people that we don't know and can't call up and can't confirm. This and is good. Wasn't double blind it's, tested. And what they say is that that you can't deny a personal testimonial. Apparently, you can't. Because it's got to be true, yeah. Must be. At least that's what they think. So now, um, let's see. I got. I got an email from Fred Knotts earlier today, and Fred sent me sent me a very funny thing. So let's read these testimonials from Christine in France. Rapidly, we have noticed dot dot an important rise in the vibratory rate of our home. We work with scales and pendulums. Scales. I, I don't know how you could test. I, how what what how does the vibratory vib, vibratory rate affects scales? I could see how it would what affect pendulums, that and mean? that would be a problem. I wouldn't. Uh, anyway, Mary Jean from USA says, "I love my plug. The energy in my home is so peaceful. The dust is minimal and lays on furniture rather than flying, and my electric bill is lower even after the heat wave." Okay. Excellent. And then it sounds, it sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, we have Bitwise seventy nine says plot twist. Alan from Canada never plugged his in. So Alan from Canada with that. Uh, I mean, look at yeah, that. YouTube. It's he's, fine. he's got his hair. If it went a little farther, it'd be flock of seagulls. But he's got this 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 chiseled, rough, um, you know, day old shaven look. He goes within twenty four hours of getting my plug, my chest pain went away. Another twenty four hours, and many of the aches and pain in my body disappeared 
I love how those photos are, are, are you know, quite attractive people with sort of snazzy black and white photos with plain backgrounds, kind of like they're done in the studio somewhere. That you might you might think that, and of course you would be right. Now be, that's because here we are at the Stars Studio of Dance website, completely unrelated, totally unrelated. But uh, let's let's see here. If we scroll down, got your about us, a class description, a class schedule, the gallery, and the testimonials. Oh dear, we have the same <laughs> photographs. <laughs> But it's Diane, Tanya, and Kevin V. That's not Alan. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right there. <laughs> That's not Alan from Canada. That's Kevin Behold. V. <laughs> Image search. Oh, I, it's even it's even simpler than that. My my guess is they just use a website template. Oh, dude. I no. Uh, Man Devil says uh, you reverse search the images. I did not. Uh, um, Fred Fred Knotts sent me this. I'm sure that we could find dozens of websites with the very same photographs and fake, fake testimonials. There's no doubt that these testimonials are fake. Um, but it like doesn't. Template, yeah? It doesn't matter if they're fake or real because there's nothing in them. They say you can't test to see if that is changing frequencies. You know what that means. That means it's just a religion. This device is a religious device. It doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't do anything. You can't test to see if it works. All of the tests that they talked about, they didn't bother including the links to it. So Jim and Janet, you're selling lies. This is nothing but a ten dollar uh or 20 if you buy three so less than ten dollar device that you're selling for forty dollars at least it's not a gigantic markup like some other things but it's still fake it's just a sticker it's just a sticker that's all it is shame on you it's, it's um I, I, what i find strange is that you kind of knew didn't you oh yeah you kind of have, you know, because you think it's gonna, it's gonna what? It's gonna like make your fridge cooler and make your dust settle. And and five G. And now I had a look at the website on archive, the Internet Archive, and of course, a little while ago they didn't say five G because five G wasn't a thing then. Oh, so I guess they've tested it with five G. They must using, have uh, using pendulums. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that's an expensive sticker there, Jim and James, Jim's and Jim and Janet. Um, hmm. um, you know, they have their address on the website, which I had a look at earlier, because uh, you know we have Google Street View now. Oh. And it is a uh, I'm not sure what you call these things. It's some kind of like post and mail post box thing. Ah, it's not even a um, real. What, I, what do you, I, I, I forgot the name of the, the thing now. It is. Um, uh, post office thing post office box like the yeah like those p.o boxes um we call them p.o boxes here but it, you know the kind of thing we get mail sent to if you want to hide who you really are yeah um, yeah because it's yeah. it's not an actual company where they're oh ah, you know. it's box and mail box and mail so yeah box and mail yeah one one uh, one one five five south power road suite 114 it, yeah yeah and you can count like that one ten one twelve 113, 114, and it's box and mail. So I guess that's where they had their mail delivered. Yep. Uh, and maybe then maybe it's forwarded on somewhere, or maybe they have a little box there they, they keep it in. Uh, that's where they get like, like the, the lawsuit sent and the legal papers. Yep. For the people that have discovered that they're selling lies, there it is. Yeah. There. This is on their new website. They even have a phone number. Um, I did send this. Uh, the email went to this. Uh, I did not call the phone number. Phone number. But where's my phone? I've got my phone here. Um, I'm totally going to call into my and ask for my remote control. Well, I could, I could call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> now they know they know that I'm doing this, and uh, they might not answer. <laughs> hey, if you're in the chat, um, there, Jim and Janet, um, 
Why don't you say something? Say hi. Say <laughs> something, yeah. So, yeah, so so you two, um, you two are scumbags. <clears throat> that That's what it is. Um, Jeffrey Rad, whatever his, his name is, the, the original guy that, I, I don't know if you were fooled by him. Jeffrey Radford. I don't know if you're fooled by him and you're still fooled by him or if you're like, <laughs> we're screwing with idiots, uh, gullible people that will just read a testimonial and think that it's true. But you should stop doing that. I hope, Jim and Janet, that nobody buys these from you again because it's garbage. They can buy these remote control things with a remote that works for cheaper. Right? And uh, yeah, yeah, so it's... they should be reported for fraud. Um, I, I, uh, that's, a, that's a great idea. So yeah, if anybody's interested in a... Uh, in, uh, reporting them for fraud um it might help if you're in arizona um but uh, hey my dad lives in arizona huh? anyway um uh get on my discord server and or in the 5g facts not fiction facebook group which both are in the description to this video and uh and uh let's uh let's report them for fraud because you know maybe this is their retirement plan you know what? That shouldn't be a retirement plan. You should actually have something useful. So <clears throat> instead of screwing people. So let me see. We've got some uh, some super chats that I think we should go over now. We've got yeah, some good ones. Yeah. Alyssum for five Australians says, so right out of the gate, they say it's electric version of a virus. Yay. Electric magic. Yeah, it's true. They, they say you put it next to your phone and then your phone gets it. And then you can put it next to another phone and that phone gets it. They even say in the email... I didn't show it, but it's on the website, on my website. Um, the guy took his phone. He had a, he had a, and he said he had an infection. And he, he wrapped up his phone. He put it against his head all night while he was sleeping. And then his uh, tooth infection went away. Um, but did a doctor Pretty confirm good. that he had tooth infection? Do tooth infections never go away if you give it time? Some of the questions had a, a guy who said his, his father had bowel cancer and uh, they recommended plugging it in and then wrapping a mains cord around his, his uh, oh. Uh, abdomen. Oh, that is, uh, yes. Because, because it might help. Yeah, it, explain that a little more. I'm going to pull up that video. That is... It's, it, it, it's quite impressive. I, I don't understand why people think this, this, this is good or helpful. I guess it might be some kind of... Sort of psychosomatic effect where you know because you know, your brains minds are powerful things so maybe they think that uh, uh if they believe it's going to happen enough then maybe somehow your mind will sort of affect the matter in your body and you, you this is just some some result you know kind of like, like positive mental attitude yeah for, for athletes and uh it, and yeah trying to recover from stuff uh let's see here's one which you know PMA is a good thing, you know, you, you could be, be positive about stuff. And if, uh, if there's something that you can use to, to feel positive about your life and things and feel better, than that, that, that's a good thing. But um, yeah, not when it's a scam. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I've joined the Facebook group, left the password. What password? Uh, Why has he left it? I don't know, but uh, psychosomatic. So That's I, one. yeah, I'm looking for the video where the guy wraps it around his leg. Is that the right word? Psychosomatic. That sounds. That sounds right. Ah, PhD Tony said we should call him up and ask for some tech support. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's do that. Um, so I'll, I'll go through these super chats first. Let's see, we've got uh, Alyssa asks for two Australian, does it wash my car? It, it, well, it, it does nothing except for, well, it doesn't even switch the lights on and off because <laughs> they didn't include the remote. Um, we got PhD Tony, yes. But this thing, this ancient tech clearly worked. How many Romans slash Greeks slash Phoenicians, Carthaginians died of 5G toxicity? Checkmate. Yeah. Yes. And Lael is here for $5. It's done. It's done says uh i i'll testify that testimonials are true because they are testimonies <laughs> you know that is hard to argue isn't it so <clears throat> all right i'm going to uh, what will happen is my audio will will um go out of sync a little bit here for a second while i 
while I'm uh, installing what I need to install to get uh, Skype to be low. Now, you know what? You know what, Lee? Screw you. You're not going to hear it. <laughs> Everybody else gets to hear it but you. I'll be fine. Okay, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, and the George said for $2, if you haven't yet, go vote. Um, yes, do it. Uh, I voted for Pedro, so hoping he wins. I want uh, Chimney Changas in the in the lunchroom. So let's see, Skype. Ian, yeah, you can we find your whole U.S. voting thing uh, um, perplexing? We have no idea how it works. I mean, ours is weird enough, but what you guys do, we, we have no idea how you work out who wins and who loses, who does what, uh, or even who to vote for. It's a good question. Yeah. So, okay. I have here. So now what should I ask for? Uh, the remote? <laughs> I can't get it. To... Well, there could be some suggestions on the chat here. Um, so, uh, tech support, tell them your, your refrigerator hasn't stopped running and your car isn't fast enough to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm I'm calling him now. Tell me, you think it needs a recharge? Because it must be must like kind of run down, you know. Because you know, you've got five G there and Wi Fi, all this yeah. kind of stuff, and and it didn't light up. Hmm. <laughs> No, they they are on Arizona time, so it's it's earlier. It's not four forty eight. Hello, you have reached the voicemail box of Romarian Plug this is, Inc. This is quite tense. I'd like to thank you for getting a hold of us. If you'd like to leave a detailed message and the best time to return your call, we can do that as soon as possible. But the best correspondence so and the way to reach us would probably be through the website www.thelomarianplug.com. That's P H E Lemarian L E M U R I A N plug P L U G dot com. Yeah, we know how to spell From plug. the website there's a contact tab and you're, you can email us directly. That is probably the best way to correspond. But if you leave a message, please give a number and time to call you back. Thank you. Hello there. Um this is um uh, Michael too, and I sent you an email earlier. Now I took apart your plug, and and the light doesn't work. And also, I, I don't have the remote to turn the switch on and off. Um, how do I how do I get that so that I can you know have it work as as intended? Because it's just a remote controlled outlet. It's nothing more than that. Um, yeah, shame on you. You're selling snake oil. What what a what a joke. Yeah, I hope I hope you guys go out of business because this is this is horrible, and um, I might be reporting you for fraud because that's what you deserve. Bye. All rights reserved. You got a voicemail. There we go. You don't know why I did the all rights reserved, <clears throat> do you? <laughs> that was a, a previous stream where where um uh. Uh, Schrodinger's cat and I were calling uh, sovereign citizens and citizens, and they were the guy had on his voicemail all rights reserved. So, sovereign citizens. There we go. Well, that that didn't work out. So, but uh, I didn't. Shame. You didn't really expect him to answer, did you? No. No. So, so there it is. Uh, let's see. What were we gonna? You were saying something. The 5G I, I, stuff. Forgotten what I was, you were talking um, about 5G yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is so some not necessarily anti 5G people, but people who, who were worried about 5G. And they put them around these things called Organite or, or Organite. I don't know how you pronounce it. Or the website or that sells these. Shugganite, too, right? Shugganite, yeah. The website that sells these things, uh, one of the guys there also makes these Organite pyramid things. And they're like it's like a resin, and they put bits of crystals and metal shavings inside, 
and they place these around and apparently that changes all the bad energy into good energy somehow uh, and then yeah and then there's the other guys who think they're going to put tesla coils on all the cell sites uh, which makes them fine so i kind of think well maybe maybe if um all the cell site guys or like verizon at&t whoever they happen to be just get these things these organized pyramids and put them at the top of their towers then there's no problem yeah and that's a good you, plan your phones will last longer you get better signals wherever you are uh your voice calls won't drop out when you're driving through patchy spots um and it, it's just a bit of resin with some stuff inside if it's so good why aren't these companies just buying these things and sticking them everywhere because it, it should be so and these devices if it saves you power then i guess they should be really widespreadly used because you know it'll, it'll save people a fortune which kind of makes me think that maybe maybe it is yeah my quite what it claims to be my mom uh had found some stuff that she said was uh some water that was super awesome that uh like if you put a drop of this water into a large container of water that it self replicates and then the new larger container of water is this this good water i'm like oh that's easy just put a little drop in a lake and then you know you've got and then yeah. in the ocean and you then everybody has it but um didn't didn't work that's uh, called like homeopathy oh yes yeah, which is uh which is another interesting thing yep uh something also that doesn't exist so we've got let's see stringer news one says i got my new 5g phone yesterday and i'm still alive it must be defective it must be so <laughs> uh you, you need the phone and you also need the 5g plan Oh, you need the plan in order to get yeah. zapped. And uh, stuff. Yes. You didn't get 5G, so, so yeah. That's it. Um, BT Toast says, Have you heard of the structured water people? Yes, I have met my mom. I've known her all my life. Yes, she has a structured water thing. Why is it that I'm interested in debunking nonsense? Because I've been doing it since I was four years old. Yes. You have. I have. Yes. My mom is into everything that doesn't make sense and not things that do make sense. So, yes. Structured water is not ice. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what it would be. But she has a little thing that, that she like all of whenever she drinks water, she makes it go through this little thing. It just has like offset spheres inside. So the water has to slosh back and forth makes it structured whatever that means so anyway um that's that's really about all i had um um uh you know i think i think it is a good idea to report them for fraud um <clears throat> definitely here's the deal if you found this video and and you watched it and are say, saying to yourself man i should not buy the lemurian plug comment or send me an email or find me on Facebook and let me know because I'd, I'd love to find out if this made a difference for somebody because that's what I really hope. This is entertainment. Absolutely. But uh, it's also educational. I hope that people say, yeah, this is this is a scam. I'm not going to buy it. Um, but if somebody's gullible enough to think that there is such a thing as a device that can protect you from EMF, well, you're probably already too gullible to to anyway because none of that none of it works it's all garbage it's all magic so um <laughs> somebody just showed and up and is like if it hey. did work if it worked i'm mean, that's, that's kind of like nobel prize material it'll be the discovery of the century it's it would be yeah. fantastic but how how you disrupt fundamental physical forces in an like immeasurable way remotely, It'll be incredible. So, all right. But it, it, it just doesn't work. It's, it's, all right. It's, Somebody's asking, did I miss the tear apart? Here it is. It's, it's, uh, one last time. It's a small circuit board. Plug right there. Relay outlet. Little mini antenna. So there it is. What would be fun is if you bought some of those from Amazon and 
had a look inside to see if they're the same. Hey, my camera just turned off. It did. Man, this thing's crazy powerful. <laughs> you, need some, you need to put some money in the electric meter. What? You're kind of running low there. So I, I got a new camera, and uh, so I, uh, I wasn't expecting it to... It's been on forever. But um, do you see me still? No. no. You are still blank. I am blank. All right. Well, so, that's so. Uh, maybe it works. It's it's now it's now getting revenge on me. It's angry at me because uh, because I was mocking it. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, <clears throat> that's weird. Uh. -uh. Well, I may have to, uh, I, I have a plan B. I have another camera. Is, is it, is it your, uh, your webcam? It is. It is my the webcam, the original one that you were seeing earlier. So I'll switch to that and then, but then I'm going to wrap it up, I think. So let's see here. It's been good. It's going to be aimed a little funny. There it is. Oh. Got to take off the tripod mount. So, Lee, <clears throat> what do you got going on? Well, you know what? I, um, I, I, I'm pretty excited. I was given an old microwave on Sunday because uh, I had an allotment. An allotment is uh, a bit of land you rent, uh, which you try and grow vegetables in. Uh, we are not very good at growing vegetables in our allotment. Uh, we grow lots of weeds. And we don't want to use all these nasty chemical weed killers. So I have this microwave, and I'm going to use a magnetron from the microwave and put it into a bit of waveguide. And I'm going to go around and zap the ground uh, before we plant to hopefully sterilize it and kill all the little weeds and, and things in there. So I, I've been researching this, and some people have done this, and it kind of works. Uh, and I'm, I, I was thinking maybe, maybe it kills them by sort of twisting the DNA or, or some kind of weird interaction that, that um, some 5G people think happens. Um, no, it, it, it heats it up and it kills it with heat. Um, so it's dead easy. So, so I'm going to try that um, probably tomorrow evening, get it built and take it down the weekend and see if I can zap some weeds. Nice. Uh, and hopefully not me. Yeah, make sure you aim it correctly. Yeah, I'm going to put some safeties in because, you know, it, it, it's, it's like it's a big old microwave. It's not one of these sort of industrial ones. It's, it's a kilowatt. Um, that's quite a lot. One kilowatt. Yeah, 1,000 watts of 2.45 gigahertz. Yeah, which um, yeah, which is uh, not at, at a distance. It, it doesn't it's not much at a distance, though, is it? No, I it, it, people on uh, on YouTube have tried this out and they have these magnetrons on the, in the room where they're, they're sat and then you know it's maybe here and uh, they're down here and about halfway it lights a fluorescent light bulb up and they're maybe two meters away but they don't even feel it yeah um it, you know because the power reduces so significantly with, with distance with the end of the square law but you don't need to be too far away to be perfectly safe Excellent. Well, all right. I got my camera going again, but uh, just in time to say one more time, this is a scam. So thank you, Lee, for, for joining. Thank you, everybody, for Super Chats. I think I got them all here. Oh, no, Punchy. Punchy says, is it just me or does MC Toon look 10 years younger and healthier than he did at the beginning of the stream? I guess that's up to you. Ah, so um, <laughs> maybe it's a camera. And J James Randy is smiling down on you from the afterlife. He's also rather annoyed that there is an afterlife. <laughs> That's funny. So, all right. Well, if you like this, uh, give it a like and a subscribe. And um, if you didn't, tell me all about it in the comments. Um, be sure if you want, if you want to help out, spread it around, post it um, places, especially when you see people uh, selling snake oil or anywhere that the Lemurian plug scammers have any presence on the internet. So later tonight, I have a debate with Rad Vlad. And on Friday, planning a debate with a 5G, an anti-5G absolute lovely guy. <clears throat> no sarcasm at all there. So uh, that'll be coming later tonight. Oh, I should, I should plug in the... Uh,
the Christmas lights here. So there we go, because yeah. you can see them all now. There it is. It's them now, so we will see. That is it. That's cool. I might leave them on. So, all right. Thank you, everybody, and we'll catch you later. Good night.